So we finally did it. We finally got a, uh, a dinghy. Um, one of our friends on the dock actually had a free dinghy that he didn't want anymore, and uh, he decided to give it to us. Today was quite the burner of the day. <laughs> I went out to get the tow rail or the handrail for the dinghy, the wood for that, because um, I bought some wood at Home Depot, Home Depot the other day, but it just it was going to be way too difficult to do. So anyway, I went back to the uh, GNS Lumber Supply. So it's a family-owned uh, lumber supply that's been around forever. A really cool story. Um, a little bit sad, but uh, anyway, they used to have a crew of like 35, 50 people running this massive lumber yard and now it's all the way down to two people and uh, they're just running the whole shop themselves but they still have a lot of really cool hardwoods and uh, like I got white oak today it looks beautiful on the side of on the dinghy and yeah it's looking really good so I'm gonna fasten it uh, kind of like a sandwich construction with one plank on the outside one plank on the inside uh, sandwiching the fiberglass and I'm gonna use fasteners there's so much stress bringing those in that if I try to glue it I think that it'll, it'll just pop off so I'm gonna use fasteners uh, see how that looks if, uh, if that doesn't work out <laughs> then I'm gonna go up to go to plan B and now I'm working with kind of expensive wood so I need to try to get this right the first time So I'm coming into a little bit of a problem with the, uh, the shear of the boat, especially with the plank on the inside. Um, the shear has so much you know, upwards uh, latitude on it that I'm, I can't bend these boards up. I can bend them sideways, obviously, but they're two inches thick, so they are a little thick to be bending up. Uh, so anyway, so I've, I've come up with the idea to do a scarf in the middle. So I've got one board kind of continuing its path going you know, through, and I have another one coming on top you know, meeting up really nicely on the inside. So, never done a scarf before, so I have no idea if it's gonna look good or not, but uh, I'm gonna see how it goes. Ours from Mike's consignment shop which is down the street from us it's a great place where we take a lot of our old stuff that we need to get rid of or when we're looking for new stuff for the boat and when Chris went in there last time to drop some stuff off he found these oars which were $50 I think he said so they're great little oars as you can see they're collapsible they just need some love so I'm gonna varnish them and when I'm done with them they're gonna look great and they're going to complement our new dinghy nicely all right, it's a little bit later now, and I have uh, actually done the scarf. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, it looks pretty good, and it's structural. Um, it feels really good. It's not going anywhere, which I was kind of worried about. Uh, and I thought about maybe doing a, uh, a, you know, gluing it together, but I think that I think the glue, no matter what I would use, uh, there's so much bend on these on these boards. I think glue would just snap. So I fastened it, and it is working in the uh, hole port side of the boat is done. So now we're going to start on the uh, starboard side. Yeah. 
and just like that, this little dinghy has some pretty sweet animals. So really the only thing left to be done on the dinghy is uh, I got a little excess here on those outer rim. I'm gonna cut that off and smooth it out. And then uh, I haven't really decided if I'm gonna oil or varnish the, uh, the wood yet. Uh, I think oil because I'm being lazy, but <laughs> anyways, I got a sand. I have a few marks on here where the um, where I was supposed to cut, and also where the vise kind of clamped down on it. it uh, uh, some of the oils from the wood actually came out a little bit. So, anyways, give it a little light sanding with some 220, and we're we'll done. So I thought uh, hard about doing varnish on the on the handrail of the dinghy, and uh, I think that for us we're going to be bumping into so many things with you know that handrail that's going to be kind of a rub rail. Uh, I think the varnish will always be getting you know nicks in it, which will always be letting water in, which will always be you know time for me to do more varnish. So just like our tow rail in our big boat, I want to do more Simcoe because all you got to do is put it on there real quick and. If you need more, just put it on again. There's no really, you know, if, if there's a bad spot, you can sand it out, but rarely that happens, so it's really easy to use. Just tape these oar locks on like this right now, just to see if I like it, like them there, or if I want them forward, or behind a little bit. Anyway, it's just tape them on for now, just to see if that's going to be where I want them or not. Who knows if that's actually going to work. So I lost my, one of my oar locks because they're welded with duct tape, and then the wind's super strong because we have a Santa Ana, so then I got blown into a boat. All is well.